Nikishino in eastern Ukraine. A landscape of rubble and broken buildings, evidence of total conflict. The fighting killed 10 here in recent months and drove almost everyone else out. But on a recent Sunday, more than 200 were back, gathered to receive promised aid. Sergei waited with his daughter, Sofia, and his wife, Katya. Like the others, they lined up to receive their lifeline for the next weeks. Humanitarian aid packages, food from the World Food Program, hygiene kits from UNICEF, clothes, blankets and plastic sheeting from UNHCR. Sergei is a miner, but most mines are closed. The family's trek home is a tour of desolation. 90% of the houses in this town of 900 people are almost totally destroyed. The school is a shell, along with the hospital. Sergei and Katya are luckier than most in Nikoshino. Their house is damaged, but still standing. They camp with friends here while repairing the roof and windows. Lyuba Padubnaya is just leaving her wrecked house with some much-needed clothes for her children. This route is the safest way to avoid unexploded shells. Her family is still displaced, living in a nearby town. But she does want to move back as soon as it's warm enough to live in one room. On every street are reminders of a murderous time, reminders which reinforce a common worry. A friend has driven the boxes of aid from the UN agencies up the hill, and Sergei carries his supplies back to his broken home. Aid means hope and help to return. It reinforces the will of the people of Nikoshino to repair the torn tissues of their town.